Hey guys, it's me, Clone Trooper X39 here, doing another LEGO Star Wars 25th set review. This is on set number 75078, ages 6 through 12, and it comes with 141 pieces. So let's dive right into this awesome LEGO set. Okay, so first we're going to start off with the Imperial Troop Transport itself. Now, this is a very interesting battle pack set. I have to say, the set itself isn't that awesome. I don't really know where they were going with this. I definitely think they were trying to go for the same kind of Stormtrooper battle pack that we got a while back. It was the little blue um, kind of flying dropship. I thought that set was pretty awesome, and I had a few of them myself. And other than... The set, everything else is great, but this does have some cool um, features, and it does come with some cool pieces if you don't like the set itself. So, first off, one thing I don't understand is where, I, I realize that this is the front here, but where would you put a driver, or does it just fly itself? That's kind of my one concern. And then you have the little turret on the back here with flick fire missiles, so you can hold that down. That one didn't flick as well, but yeah, see, there we go. So you have the two flick fire missiles. I mean, I guess that's cool, but once again, not really impressed with this. You do have spots for all four of the minifigures on all four sides here, so you can, you know, put them on, fly it around. And then you do have this little container that comes out here, and you have extra ammo for the stud shooters for the minifigures now. That's kind of a cool feature, but other than that, one thing I did not know is that with these little pieces, I didn't know you could put those rods in and they smooth, they um, slide smoothly like that, but other than that, very interesting little build, definitely comes with a lot of light bluish gray pieces, so if you want light bluish gray pieces and some awesome, awesome minifigures, then I definitely would pick up this set, but otherwise, let's get into the minifigures, which I think is the best part of this set review. Okay, so here's the Stormtrooper itself. Now, you do get four of them, and the only dis difference between the two pairs is you get two kind of angry faces and two kind of just normal faces. Now, this one happens to have the somewhat angry face or the open mouth, and the others just have a generic closed mouth. And here's a look at that real quick. There you go. And then... You get the stud shooters with all of them. Now, the way those work, most of you already know. If you just take the minifigure and you press down on this little tab here, boom, the stud shoots out. That actually shot across the room there. So, that's definitely a cool feature. The LEGO group's definitely trying to push towards playability with their LEGO sets. But, we just care about the printing. We just care about the minifigure. So, as you see here, back printing pretty awesome. Now, the helmet itself is the same exact piece from all the other sets that we have gotten Stormtroopers from. You definitely get some cool printing on the helmet there. Here's another quick look at the back of the printing. Moving around to the front, we have leg printing, which is freaking awesome, and the torso I'm in love with. So overall, this is a great minifigure. I'm probably gonna end up picking up a good amount of these sets just for the Stormtroopers, because I definitely think in the LEGO Star Wars community that everyone's gonna be shifting from clone armies and going to Stormtrooper armies, and I definitely wanna see that and definitely wanna be a part of it. So let's move on to the box instructions and any extra pieces. Okay, so here's a quick look at the box. Once again, it's just a standard battle pack box. It does say Star Wars Rebels on it. Now, I have never seen Star Wars Rebels, but I definitely think this was somewhat inspired by Episode 7 and the Stormtroopers because I really like the Stormtroopers a lot. Um, but here on the back, you see they're advertised to flick for our missiles, the ammo there. Once again, some cool pictures, but other than that, pretty generic box. And here is a quick look at the instructions. So, just standard instructions, nothing too special about them, and you do get some extra pieces with this set. Once again, you do get an extra little part for the stud shooter blaster, then you get two studs, so you actually have an extra ammo, and then you got a little one by one red plate, and another one by one um, stud, so that's pretty awesome, but... Other than that, thank you guys for watching this LEGO Star Wars 2015 set review. Now, tomorrow I'm going to be reviewing the AAT. And make sure you like, comment, and share this video. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.